In this picture, what you are seeing is this is the posterior border of horizontal plate of palatine bone, and in the mid midline, you are seeing a projection. This is the posterior nasal spine. This this is the nasal cavity. Nasal cavity is divided into two parts by the nasal septum. This is the this bone is vomer. This is the posterior border of vomer bone. Vomer is a separate bone, and this is the ala of vomer. This is the posterior free border of vomer, and this is the ala of vomer. <coughs> and just laterally to the nasal cavities, you are seeing here. This is the these two. These processes, this is this is triggered process of sphenoid bone. Triggered process of sphenoid bone having two plates, medial pterygoid plate this one and lateral pterygoid plate. Between these two pterygoid pterygoid plate there is a fossa. This is known as a pterygoid fossa. In medi the middle pterygoid plate, in the upper part, divides 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 and In circles of fossa, this fossa is scaphoid fossa. This is scaphoid fossa. This side also you are seeing that scaphoid fossa. In the lower part, this medial pterygoid plate, there is a projection of bone here. You are seeing the projection of bone in this side and in this side. This projection of bone is known as pterygoid hamulus. This is pterygoid hamulus. Once again, this is pterygoid fossa. This is scaphoid fossa. And this is pterygoid hamulus, and this is medial pterygoid plate. This is lateral pterygoid plate. These whole things is known and called pterygoid process. This is a part of scaphoid bone. This bone is vomer, which divides the nasal cavity. In this picture, what you are seeing is this is the picture of nasal septum, and nasal septum is formed by two bones and one cartilage. This is perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone, upper one, blue one is. Below is vomer. This green one is vomer bone, and in between, this is anteriorly lies the septal cartilage. This is septal cartilage. Vomer having, vomer having superior border, anterior border, inferior border, and posterior border. Posterior border is free, and superior border articulates with the rostrum of sphenoid bone. This is sphenoid bone. And this is the pterygoid process of sphenoid bone. So, <coughs> this is vomer, and inferior border articulates with the maxillary crest and palatine crest of the respective maxillary bone and palatine bone. This is this is maxillary crest. This is palatine crest. Anterior border articulates with superiorly it articulates with perpendicular plate of ethmoid. And in the lower part, it articulates with the septal cartilage. This is the nasal septum. This is perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone. And in the upper part, you are seeing this is a cribriform plate of ethmoid bone. And this is cristagalli of ethmoid bone. So you are seeing three parts of ethmoid bone here in this section, median section: perpendicular plate, cribriform plate, and cristagalli. These are the parts of ethmoid bone. Here you are seeing the frontal bone and this is nasal nasal bone frontal bone you are seeing having a cavity this is a frontal sinus and in sphenoid bone you are seeing the cavity this is sphenoidal sinuses so in this picture you are seeing the posterior border of vomer this is ala of vomer and these are two nasal aperture posterior nasal aperture this is medial pterygoid plate These are medial pterygoid plate. This is scaphoid fossa, and this process is vaginal process of medial pterygoid plate. This process, both sides. So you remember that just anterior to the medial pterygoid plate, there is a it articulates just medial to the just anterior to the medial pterygoid plate lies the perpendicular plate of palatine bone, and between the vaginal process of medial pterygoid and palatine bone there is a foramen. This foramen is called palato-vaginal canal. Palat palato-vaginal foramen, which leads into the canal. So again, this is vomer, and this is this is vaginal process of medial pterygoid plate. Between these two, there is a canal. Uh, this is foramen leads into canal. This canal is known as vomero-vaginal vomero-vaginal canal. 
these two canals open into the pterygo palatine fossa and pharyngeal branches pharyngeal branches of artery and nerve coming into the nasopharynx nasopharynx through these foramen so till now greater palatine foramen lesser palatine foramen palatovaginal canal humorovaginal canal all canals open into the pterygo palatine fossa you have to remember these things just revise once again this is the lateral pterygoid plate and this is the posterior surface of maxilla and between the uh, maxilla and lateral pterygoid pterygoid plate this fissure is known as pterygo maxillary fissure when we go inside we are you, you come into a fossa this is the fossa this is known as pterygo palatine fossa in this fossa uh, third part of maxillary artery you can get and maxillary nerve passes through this fossa and pterygo palatine ganglion is present in this fossa so just for uh, revision i have i kept this picture